Well, the city of Redlands has a, uh, we've hired a surveyor to identify how bad all of our streets are and how good they are. In some cases, we're, what we're trying to do is identify how we need to go through and repave um, all of our streets. So we, we've got this uh, layer called a pavement condition index that helps us to identify how bad each one of these streets are. And that helps us to prioritize really how, how we're going to go about uh, repaving certain sections and how we identify which ones get a higher priority over the other. So what we're really trying to do is maximize traffic over costs. So we're trying to keep it from being something that will be a very expensive fix for something that not very many people will, will drive on. So we're trying to hit some of these areas uh, like recently Brookside or, or um, here along Redlands Boulevard, focus on some of those areas that we know have a lot of different traffic in so that we can identify uh, and really maximize the greatest good for the greatest number of people. Similarly, we have another, uh, another layer that's produced using 10 different layers, a lot of different community indicators to identify really where we should focus and place some of, this, uh, this, this, uh, uh, some of our resources. And so in our case here, street type, the proximity to school and health facilities, our, the proximity to rail stop, future rail stop locations, uh, different customer observations for potholes, uh, our population density, and this pavement condition index and this layer where we're trying to catch things before they get worse our commercial development and our bus routes and bicycle trails and really our traffic model all of these go collectively into one layer here that helps us to identify really where where we're placing our priority so here the green is the higher priority and the red is the lower priority and this happens um, really using all of these different community indicators. This is a defensible method for us to be able to identify where we're placing resources and why. And in the long run, it helps us to do some 10, 20 year planning in the future because this is an asset that continues to grow and decay and it's something that we need to maintain.